right? How do we come to a point of genetic warfare? And what would be the strategies for genetic warfare? What would be the strategies for genetic warfare? Well, the strategies for genetic warfare would be to attack what I had wrote earlier. Maintenance of health and to reproduction. You see, if you put yourself into what we call uh, uh, a warrior mind set, if you put your mind into a warrior mindset, you quickly realize that this is what's happening, right? So if you want to, if you want to win a, a genetic war, right? You either destroy the health that is being maintained, or you destroy the ability to reproduce, right? This is what we call uh, people. I need you to really, really grasp this concept. Generic warfare is not a toy, it's not a plaything, it's not a game, it's not fun, it's happening right now, like a joke, okay? Um, and it came to my realization. Okay, now in destruction, in destruction of, uh, of health is a strategy that can take several, um, several, several routes right and one route to to destroy um health you take one route one simple route and that route is control you have to take control right control becomes vital without it you cannot mount an attack on health so you take control all right now once you have control now you have to know what you are actually going to do with your control right so you control and uh i'll bring out this concept control is the ability to draw energies to one point so that it can be manipulated to your will that is control right so <clears throat> when when you take control of 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 uh, um of a person's health how how do you take control well several ways one is the majority and you have to understand this this strategy is all chess based it is not uh checkers it is not um americans call it checkers uh in where i'm from we call it draft it is not draft right uh, this is chess so there are different routes to the end goal. Now, number one route, a most effective route, is to hijack, hijack the head commander, is to hijack the head commander, is to hijack the head commander of an entity. Now, the head commander of your entity, of your body, is the brain. So, to achieve control, you have to hijack the brain. You have to hack into the brain. And the way you hack into a brain is via media. It's via media. Right? So, if, if you're hacking into the brain, if obtaining control of the brain is via media, that means an individual has to control media. You get it? So necessarily you don't go straight into the brain and these people think you get tweezers. No, 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 no. You go indirectly. You attack media. Now, when you, when you have hijacked the brain, the media, now... What you're going to make the media do is program or reprogram the brain into a way of thought that would be self-destructive to the maintenance 
of health. Hello? Can you see this? So, the, so what happens is that you, 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 what the, the images you project in the media hijacks the brain so that the behavior of the brain, the head commander of the body that controls the body, ends up destroying itself. This is what we call suicide. Mm. Suicide. This is what we call suicide. Uh, forgive me, I can't spell this. Suicide. Right? If you're the outside person looking in. But if you're inside and you know what this is, this is murder. This is murder, and that's that. that that's basically uh, one of a many uh, uh, one of a many strategies that are used, right? And this is just a rough summary, just because I've got no, I haven't got enough time to explain all of it. So you hijack the brain, whatever, whatever. That is strategy number one, right? Genetic warfare. You got to come out now. Now. We look at another strategy, and bear in mind we have not extended uh, beyond um, this. Uh, we haven't ex um, we haven't ex uh, gone to reproductive yet, right? So now control again. With control, what are the things that provide health, or a healthy body? So you hijack the brain to believe what it's supposed to believe. But now the second thing becomes into what you ingest, what you take in, right? And what you ingest, right? That's what we call food. Food. So now you take control of food. Now you don't take control of food as to starve, right? You don't take control of food as to starve. You don't take control of food as to starve. Uh, oh boy. Right. You don't take control of food as to starve the people. You take control of food as to control what is taken in. Taken in all right so when you have the ability to control what is taken in into the body right for maintenance of health then you are taking control of what the individual drinks drinks right or drinks or eats right drinks or eats or slash eats so if it so happens that the food that we that is supposedly considered as food happens to be a slow burning poison uh, it's a slow burning poison then that means that